Hello everyone, John Schultz, the owner of Chef of the Lake Elmo Inn. We're here today to show you how to cut up an onion. And firstly, first let's describe the onions that we have in our life. You have the green onion, the scallion, the spring onion. They're all very much in the line of this here. And then you get a little bit bigger and you go into the leek family. And from there you go into the different onions that are available to us at the stores. From, from the little shallot, to the red onion, which you can see a bag of them here, to the yellow onion. Yellow onion is 90% of the onions that are in use today are coming from yellow onions. And the difference between yellow onions and then you get to those extra sweet ones like the Vandalia onion and the Walla Walla onion. How many states have a vegetable that put the state on the map? Walla Walla onions from Washington and Vandalia onions from Georgia they're phenomenal onions and they have worldwide notoriety. And then you have a white onion. A white onion isn't much different than a yellow onion. It almost looks identical except for the color. But it's a little bit sweeter than a yellow. It's easier and tastier to eat it raw if you're going to put it on salads or in sandwiches or on a burger. The same goes with a red onion. The red onion, on are, you don't see these cooked too often because when they get cooked, they turn gray. So they're not that attractive anymore. So they're used mainly in the, in the raw form. And then you get down to the yellow onion. And this here is made with soups and sauces and stocks. And, and you can eat it yet, uh, raw, but it's not the tastiest. It's a little stronger. And the little shallot. What do I use a shallot for? Well, the French, they use it mainly in their cooking and its sauce work it, and, and dressings. It's just a finishing onion. It's mild and it goes wonderfully with all kinds of things. And it can be fried. It can be sauteed. Uh, the shallot is a wonderful onion. We use it a lot and it has a hint of garlic. Some people will say it's a cross between an onion and a garlic. Well, I don't know that to be true, but it does have a hint of garlic. So we're going to go into how do we cut up an onion and how do we peel one. First, you have to get yourself a knife. I've got four knives here, my, my classic French knife. I use a lot. The Santuco is a serrated edge knife, and some people like that. And then I have two utility knives. Both of them look like chef knives. It all is what is comfortable for you. I'm not going to tell you that there's a right knife and a wrong knife. I will tell you, if it's not sharp, no knife will work very well. And if it is sharp, almost any knife will work for you. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to cut up this white onion. I take off the end of both sides and then I peel it down. And then I take the knife and I just cut very thinly. I don't want to go too deep into the onion. And then I just peel off that outside layer. And then boom, easy. That way I can make onion rings without having a slit in them. It's easy for me to dice, slice, chop, whatever. And then here at the Lake Elmo Inn, we don't just peel these and throw them away. We recycle all our old food scraps, all our new food scraps that we can't use, and the scraps that come back from the tables. Bones, shells, everything goes into our pig buckets. And our buckets get picked up by Barthold Farms three times a week here in the summer, and they go to feed their pigs. And then the pigs are sold to the market, the market, you guys eat the pigs, and then we serve the pork that you guys eat and then it goes the scraps all go back up to the pig farm it's the circle of life so we've got the peeled onion so you take your onion and you cut it in half now at all the schools the culinary school all the brown institutes the institute of art st paul college they will all tell you to cut the onion like this you keep it together and then you cut like this, you cut like that, and then you have a nice dice. And that is beautiful. And then you have to deal with this little end piece. So then the end piece you have to go back and recut. And then you cut this way, and then you dice. And when you have a sharp knife, it makes easy work of it. And look at how nice those are. I've learned with my 45 years in the cooking business, that isn't the best way for me. I'm not going to say it isn't the best way for the schools because that's the way they teach. This is the best way for me. The onion has got all these rings and the thickness of the dice is based on how wide I cut these slices. So if I want to have an onion that's this, this 
square, that's how big I make it. If I want to make it really thin, then I do it that way. And if I want to make it really big, I go a little bit bigger. So you go all the way through, and you hold your onion. It's all still together. And then now I'm going to go, and I'm going to go around that onion. And when I get to the top, it's going to be straight up and down. So I'm dicing. And when I'm up, my knife is up and down. One more slice, and then I flip it over. Now you find out, and look at how nice and consistent those onions are. Whether they're better or worse, that's a matter of opinion. I like it because I get through the onion a lot quicker. It's easier for me to do, and I try to preach that here at the end to my cooks. And I let them make up their decision, because a lot of them will come in from the schools and they'll do it that way. And, and that's okay. I'm not telling them that it's wrong. Just saying that there are more than one way to skin an onion. So with that, uh, the red onion, all the onions pretty much go the same. The shallots are a little more complicated because they're not quite nicely compact like that. You'll find different, you can see all these different rings are great for onion rings. The shallot, you don't have that. You have all these different cores and it makes it a little different to cut. And the leeks, same way. You're going to cut off your stem, you're going to cut your length, and then you're going to, you can see how tough that was. There's a big core, you cut it in half, and then you got, take off the rest of the core, because if the core isn't off, they won't separate. So you're just going to julienne. You can do it that way, you can see, and then you can also just go across and go this way. It just depends on how you're going to use them. And usually leeks are in a cooked are braised in a, you know, they're, they're just used a different way than the regular yellow onion, white onion, red onion. So with that, I would like to say that's the inside scoop for today.